Hey guys, in this video I'll be comparing these two video editing softwares, Pinnacle Studio and Adobe Premiere Pro. On my YouTube channel I've been making uh, tutorials for Pinnacle Studio and I think it's a great program to use if you want to stay in one video editing application instead of going all over the place. However, it does not allow you, it's not compatible with other programs. So that's the only downside if you want to do more than the program allows you to do. Um, it's it's pretty, and it, it seems like it they're trying to restrict you to that one application. While Adobe Premiere is made by Adobe, and they have this program called Adobe Creative Cloud, there is a month trial, but after it expires, you can subscribe to Adobe Creative Cloud for like um, every month or every year. And, um, I, with, a, with Adobe Creative Cloud, it's got Adobe Premiere, like I have open right now, and Adobe After Effects, which you could do, um, film of, uh, effects for filming, and all kinds of cool stuff like that. So, it allows you, it allows you to do a lot more things, but it's harder to get used to, and with Pinnacle Studio, it has a nice and friendly interface. And you can do, um, it's pretty easy to use. So let's get started with, uh, the, let me compare these two to show you how the two are different. So, with Adobe Premiere, you see this blank screen right here. It looks like there's something wrong with the program, but there isn't. There's something you have to do first before you start using it, and you have to make a new project right here. So let me just get started on Pinnacle Studio. Uh, with Pinnacle Studio, it looks like this without all of um, the media right here. So um, when you first install it, you have to configure it so that it makes watch folders. And watch folders are in, it scans different places that you've chosen for Pinnacle Studio to scan. And when it detects new media in those places, it automatically imports them. However, with Adobe Premiere, that it doesn't do that. You have to, after you make a new project, you have to import them manually. So, uh, let me just get started with Adobe Premiere so you don't stare at this blank empty screen. So what you do is go to File, New, and then Project. And, um, Let's just name the project New Project because I don't have any other name to name it. The only purpose of this is to show you guys a uh, comparison between these two. And my desktop is fine to save this to. Alright, so now we've got something that looks more like a video editing interface over here. And I must say it's really advanced. Uh, Adobe makes things so advanced and hard to use. But they have so many options, you could do so many things, and you could get easily get lost. Especially in Adobe After Effects, which I won't be covering in this video, just because it's... Even I don't know everything, it's just so much, it's so overwhelming, and you, you could do so much in that. But, um, let's just, uh, start importing stuff, like, um... My Aqualung, sorry, not Aqualung, I already did that earlier. Uh, this is a Peter Gabriel Salisbury Hill guitar lesson. Let's just import these two files. Now with Pinnacle Studio, since it automatically imports stuff, I'm just going to import the things that it already imported. So let's just import, let's just start making a project with those same things. So as you can see, when we import one of these videos, it comes up in in the timeline as one track. And it has audio waveforms right here, but you can't move them separate unless you detach the audio. Now with Adobe Premiere, it automatically comes in with uh, both a video and audio tracks, but they are linked. You cannot move each of them on it on their own. You can't click and then click again. It just stays linked to with each other. Now with uh, Pinnacle Studio, these two 
like I said, there are one track, but you can detach the audio so there are two tracks. And this is the, this is the, this is um the friendly thing I was talking about with Pinnacle Studio is that when you select it once, it selects both of them, and when you select it again, it selects it individually, and then you can move it individually like this. And if you want to move both of them, you select it once, and you can move both of them. So this is a nice way of moving both of them rather in sorry rather than moving each one on its own so it's a nice transition between those two controls but with Adobe Premiere since you can't click you can't just click it and then it will uh, move on its own you have to unlink it first and once you do this, it will remain unlinked unless you link it again, and it will remain linked unless you unlink it. So you have to keep changing these settings if you want to link or unlink them. It's kind of a hassle um, in comparison with Pinnacle Studio, in which it's a lot friendlier. Alright, so, uh, sorry, I just want to go to the effects page here. Let's move on to effects. This is a, another one of the friendly things I was talking about with uh, Pinnacle Studio, with the effects uh, window. It op sorry, it opens up as a window. So you right click it, go to Open Effects Editor, and all of your effects are right here. So you can do all kinds of cool stuff. And like I said, it's all built into one application. So you could still do stuff like chroma keying and the new blue effects which it has right here and the color correction it has auto color all kinds of cool stuff like that however um it's not as advanced it only has like these types of uh the settings and by the way if you're going into ones like these where it doesn't automatically do it you can still adjust these settings right here. It just doesn't look as good as in Adobe Premiere Pro. And what I mean by it doesn't look as good, it means you can't adjust it. You, you, do, you don't have as many options. So in Adobe Premiere Pro, each of these settings are under these, um, they look like folders. And you can expand each one to reveal different presets and settings and stuff like that. So I'll just uh, start off with that same exact uh, effect that I did in Pinnacle Studio. I'm going to take my brightness and contrast and drag it over to the video. And in, in this top left wind panel right here, I'm going to go to Effect Controls. And in brightness and contrast, you could expand each one to do different things. I'm sorry, it, it it does look sort of the same as in Pinnacle Studio. That's just because of this one effect. However, with other effects like a three-way color corrector, it shows these wheels right here and these input levels and these you could drag stuff to color correct it better. So if you're looking up here in the window, I could drag this to darken the blacks, and on the on, over here I could drag this to brighten the whites, and then I could find a mid-range. I know I didn't do it perfect enough, but um, these are what the settings look like, and Pinnacle Studio does not really have that. So if you want to do the three-way color correcting and color grading and stuff like that, I highly recommend using Adobe Premiere Pro. So that's pretty much it with the effects. Um, I know th this video is on the basics of the two programs, comparing that. So uh, the last thing I want to cover is the export. Now the export in uh, Pinnacle Studio, it um, it, it's, I mean it's sort of advanced, but once you've chosen your settings and stuff, it stays that way. You can't mess around with the settings of a preset. So, for an example, I can choose like MP4, HD 1080p, 
go to advanced, and this is all that I've got. I can't adjust um, anything like anything else. It remains this codec. You can't go to a different resolution unless you go to a preset, and it doesn't have a lot of presets here. Well, it has it has a, a bit of presets, but with Adobe Premiere, like I said, you could do a lot more. So let me just go over to Adobe Premiere to show you uh, what the ex exporting settings are like. So you got a, a file export uh, media. Oh, make sure you're so you've uh, selected this window. If it's over here, over here, over here. It's it's going to be grayed out. Let's get to export media. And look at this. This export window is has so many more presets. You can go to your format H.264 for MP4 files and look how many more things it has. I'm just scrolling down for all of these presets and um, I recommend using YouTube 1080p HD for YouTube and you can export the video audio. Pinnacle Studio does not allow you to do that unless in the timeline you remove the audio or video and you can also adjust the resolution. You can match the source if you want to be perfect, exact, the same. You can change the frame rate. This is awesome. You've got all these export things. However, if you're, if you're not sure what you're doing, if you don't know which settings you want, it's best to, st it's best to be safe in Pinnacle Studio instead of going into a whole nother world with Adobe Premiere Pro. See, uh, you probably don't even know what to do with a lot of these settings. Uh, the bitrate is pretty important. The audio, if you want to change that, you could do that, or you can leave it alone. Uh, usually that's what I like to do, just leave it alone. And then uh, you, you can actually select your uh, entire sequence or sequence in and out. And actually, Pinnacle Studio allows you to do that too. You could also select the entire thing or you can select in and out points to export to and you've got all these export settings as well and all this too so if you want to go exploring and do more things but uh, if you're willing to get used to a new program I recommend using Adobe Premiere Pro if you want to stay basic in one program and if you want to if you, if you want to have it really easy on yourself, just stay in Pinnacle Studio. However, this does mean that it's going to crash a little bit more often than this, but if it works, it works. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, I'm, uh, I'm more than happy to answer them. I usually answer questions within a day or two, and... Um, and I hope this helped you decide which program you would want to use when you're video editing. There are a lot of other video editing softwares, but I have, in this tutorial, I have kept Premiere and Pinnacle Studio um, are the two programs that I recommend. So thank you for watching.